Needing positivity all around you Many life struggles trying to hold you down When your goal is being great to push Through dark clouds that try to tear you down Libra, oh Libra What's up, giggity gang gang, giggity gang 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 Happy motherfucking twinky twinky one, did you miss me? I was trying to slide y'all asses up in there in December, but I do believe in divine timing, honey, okay? Um, if you need a personal reading, this information, uh, that information will be found within the description box below. This will be the January 2021 message for the sign. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, North Node, as well as, um, yeah, I forgot what the fuck I was going to say. Jupiter, okay? For the sign of Libra, all right, you guys. This message ain't finna resonate with every damn Libra. Take what does, leave the rest, okay? If you're a new subscriber, hey, boo, hey, <laughs> welcome to the family, y'all. We cuss, okay? All right, we don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel, but here we do cuss, okay? We share, we grow, we love, we enlighten. Positive vibes only, positive type things, okay? You wanna fight, fuss about my motherfucking cuss, and go to somebody else's channel, all right? If you um, it's your first time watching, hey, boo, <laughs> I'm Oka, okay? Also, this first time watching, listen, I cuss, okay? I could have put that shit backwards, but we roll it, all right? Let's jump into it, all right? For the month of January, Librans, okay? A lot of expansive energy, a lot of ancestral energy, okay? A lot of energy around distractions, and I feel like for some of you all, this is, some of y'all, this is intentional distractions, okay? And for some of you all, this is you taking on too many of too many other people's bullshit, okay? I did pick up on the energy Libra for the month of January, setting healthy boundaries, okay? For some of you all, you're dealing with people, places, and things, and situations, and circumstances that do not respect your motherfucking boundaries. Okay, you gotta tell Tyrone, Tina, uh, Pam, uh, Harry, all the motherfuckers. If I if you didn't call me, don't pop up in my shit. Okay, family, no family. If you didn't call, if you didn't get the ring ding the okay for me. Don't come and see me for once. You don't gotta come to me. Okay, I'm gonna call you. And if I don't call you, don't pop your ass up over here, okay? Big pop-up energy, Libras, okay? I also picked up on the energy as well as, as um, I'm also hearing expansion, expansive, I'm sorry, expansive consciousness, expansion within your consciousness and your awareness, okay? For some of you all, this could definitely have to do with energy healing. I did hear energy healers for Libra, all right? For some of you all, I'm also hearing interpreting. So some of you guys could be trying to break down your dream space or actually decode your subconscious, okay? A lot of decoding energy. Um... I also picked up on the energy as well, Libras. I heard distorted, okay? For some of you all, this is a projection of distortion. I'm also hearing chaos magic, so someone could have been trying to create chaos in your life, or this is you to another person, okay? Um, but I did pick up on the energy of Libra. They're sorry, okay? They are sorry. Um, strong emphasis when it comes to past life connections, okay? For some of you all, this could also be revelations within the subconscious. I am picking up on the energy of aha, okay? So either you or someone else is having an aha moment as it pertains to your energy. For some of you all, I'm also hearing astral projection or a spiritual inheritance, okay? For some of you all, you're inheriting new gifts, new abilities, and I feel like for some of you all, you're finding issues when it comes to grounding them or to access them at will and not on Okay, and not, or not running into them. I feel like it's a blessing either motherfucking way, but okay, Libra, okay? Um, I also picked up the energy as well as surrendering, okay? Surrendering. Some of you all are holding on too damn tight to friendships, relationships. Big emphasis on partnerships and how much you give and how much you receive in relationships. I'm also picking up on a realization energy, okay? So, Libras, listen, let's jump into this damn intuitive messages, honey, because my cameraman got... Another jizzle, honey, okay? So y'all been wondering where the fuck I've been at? The laughing cameraman got another jizzle, honey, and because I be like this to the cameraman, we gonna be smooth about this motherfucking jizzle. You understand me? <laughs> so let's get into it. Libra, the song that I got for you all for the month of January, okay, was, I think this is Pet Teddy Pendergrass. Um, if you think you're lonely now, wait until tonight. Girl, hey, 
If you lonely, you okay? can't. Somebody gotta wait till tonight. Leave they think if you think you lonely now, okay? Wait until the fuck tonight, okay? For some of you all, Libra, I am picking up on the energy of someone leaving you hanging, or you leaving another person hanging. You must not know by me. I can have another you in a minute. To the left, to the left, cause your ass ain't right. You understand me? No Beyonce, big Lib Libranses around this motherfucker. All right. So let's jump into your intuitive messages, Libra. You guys got surrounded by skeletons. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries, Taurus, Pisces, Capricorn, Virgo, Leo may be of significance. You guys got grants, tantric sex, creativity, expansion, whoa, envy, shattered illusions, summoning, sacral chakra, energy attacks, emotionally and mentally manipulative, Business influx, come on, coins, career transitions, unexpected travel offers, illuminist, launching new businesses, astral stalking, seductress, tit for tat, new home, transitioning, procrastinating, I'm sorry, procrastinating endings, petty warfare, custody. Plotting on your come up, entrapment, new love, front row seat, karmic justice, subconscious warnings, body goals. Yes, come on, body yadi yadi. Auric cleanse, detox, dream interpretation, blame game, energy harvesting, judgment, divine intervention, times up. Religious views, bound expression. Okay, so Libra, honey, let's talk about it. Who got you fucked up, Libra? Okay, someone definitely has you fucked up. I also picked up on the energy, Libra. For some of you all, there could be some type of like pertinent information that you were waiting to come to the surface that you were waiting to surface. I'm also picking up on like petty, petty energy around this. So for some of you all. I am picking up on the energy of someone wanting to destroy. Like it's 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 kind of like having someone's fate in the palm of your hands. Like someone's sitting on some type of information, Libra. This could be you or another person towards you. I feel like someone's sitting on some type of incriminating information, and I am hearing blackmail with this. This could even be a partner. Some of y'all are literally sleeping with the enemy, or you were. Okay. I'm also picking up on the energy of someone digging. Someone could be digging for dirt or digging for some type of evidence to use against you when it comes to your children, okay? I'm also picking up on petty gossip at work. Seize that. Say less, okay? I am picking up on someone trying to make you like... Someone trying to use you against you when it comes to sabotaging the way that you make your money, okay? Oh, Libra, y'all be having some hating ass hoes to be really trying it, honey. Shout out to my Libra Rising Gangs, honey, okay? Let's get into it. Let's see what um what crystal will be useful for my Libras for the month of January. And that two of them fell out. We're gonna take that back. Just give me one. Crystal wisdom, healing oracle. Crystal for my Libras find useful. Some of my Venus, Cross Watchers, Mercury, Jupiter, North Node. Okay, Smoky Quartz Elestio. All right, I am picking up on a lot of cerebral energy. I'm also picking up on Libra. Some of you guys may be, <laughs> some of y'all is talking to the dead. All right, and they fucking listening. Let's get into it. I'm seeing somebody on their pat on their balcony smoking a blunt, talking either to their dead ancestors. This could even be like talks to your ancestor altar. Some of y'all got some picky, choosy ass ancestors when it comes to what they want in their altar. Some of y'all ancestors want some cigarettes, some bugles. Some of you all, I'm also picking up on someone's ancestor wanting citrus fruit, um, lemons, oranges. I'm even hearing grapefruit. I'm hearing galactical warfare and I'm also hearing star seed. Some of you guys could be researching into this. I'm also hearing mythology.
for some of you Libras, I'm literally hearing the legal system, legalities. For those, this is a great time if you are if, if you do practice the arts, okay, or any form of divination. I feel like this is a great time to do so, especially if you're doing this for a court case, because it definitely looks like it's going to turn out in your favor, okay? So, smoky quartz celestial, transmutational magic, a stone for karmic healing. Smoky quartz celestial opens into different dimensions and brings powerful transmutation. For self-understanding, you have a powerful survival instinct and ability to go where others dare not. Transmute the past. Realize that darkness is not evil. Facing your deepest fears turns these into golden gifts. You, I'm sorry, you know that death is only a transformation into another state of being. Take responsibility for your life. Do not let others take control. Be patient. Much stirs beneath a calm surface. Total transformation is close. It may entail a trip into the underworld. Your shadow becomes your brightest gift. Toxic emotions turn to positive regard. Ground your efforts in the everyday, but retain contact with higher realms. Success comes through dedication and trust in your abilities. Mentors are available. Release yourself from old, en from old enchantments. Release yourself from old enchantments. The spell is broken, Libra. No part of you is evil or bad. Embrace your shadow. I'm sorry. Embracing your shadow leads you, leads you to healing hidden in the darkest reaches of yourself. The frequency of this stone is exceptionally high. Good for the Earth Star, Base, Sacral, Soul Star, and Stellar Gateway. Good for Scorpios and Capricorns, and for those with the Soul Path of Total Transmutation. Okay. For some of you, I literally heard traumas. Okay childhood traumas for some of you all you could actually be a mentor you could also be some type of like some y'all could be like intuitive psychiatrist or therapist i'm strongly hearing interpreters okay for some of you all this could also be um some y'all have access to the akashic spirit is needing you to shine that light for others assist in aiding the collective and pointing them into the direction in which they're supposed to be going I am hearing the light and the shadows, okay? The marrying of souls, all right? So let's get into it. Ooh, Libra. Let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Libra? I had already pre-shuffled. In fact, I'll do it in front of y'all one more again. Because some of y'all YouTube people be very sensitive. How do, you know, if you How do we know if you shuffled the cards? Mocha, maybe you shouldn't lay those cards out like that. We don't know if you really did it for real. I don't give a finock. Okay, this is my shit. Let's get into it. It's real messages you have for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ross watches y'all my babies, but y'all don't be doing your comment sections be lit. Yeah, Libra. Some of you guys are sad about having to leave behind a um, leave behind a situation, ship, partnership. Okay, for some of you all, this is a past life relationship that goes all the way back to Egypt. Okay, for some of you all, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you all, this could even be someone who you're dealing with. Is what I'm hearing as well, Libra. Some of you all could be dealing with a Capricorn. Yeah, some of y'all have to choose between a Capricorn, possibly, and a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you all are juggling how to heal you're going to break the news to somebody that you are no longer happy and that you do not want to be there okay for some of you all also i am hearing petty gossip okay i'm also hearing resolve coming to an end resolution okay this could also have to do with work petty gossip at work some of you all are also going to have to set boundaries with the water sign, cancer, pisces, scorpio i feel like for some those of you in relationships i feel that your relationship it's able. I feel like you guys could be experiencing some type of difficulty in a relationship or a partnership, and I feel like a resolution and conclusions are at, are are, are at reach or are in reach. But I feel like for some of you all, this is going to require for you to set healthy boundaries, compromise, let a person know what the fuck you do and don't like. Don't expect for nobody to be a mind reader, because some of y'all is expecting for somebody to read your damn mind, and when they don't respond, how the fuck you wanted them to respond? Now it's petty warfare. Why? Why, when you could have opened your mouth and said something? Everybody ain't fucking psychic, Libra. Okay? Some of you guys, 
Yeah, some of you guys could be dealing with a cancer. Some of you guys could be needing to make a choice between a cancer and a fire sign or a fire sign of thing to make a choice between you and a cancer. Possibly you and another, you and a Capricorn as well. I feel like if you're dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, there could be infidelity. Some of you guys could be in an open relationship. And I feel like whoever this person is, somebody could be like, I'm hearing polygamy, but someone could be in a polygamous relationship for sure. I feel like someone wants the title and they want to be able to have the fun. Somebody somebody lives for the damn thrill of the kill, but they broke. Okay? This person is broke. They can't take care of two fucking households. And I feel like someone's mask is falling off in the month of January. I'm also picking up on the energy. Yeah, some of y'all gonna have to get somebody's mom. I'm hearing mother in law, mother in law. Someone's partner could also be giving them an ultimatum to choose between them and their them or their family. I feel like there's a lot of interference from like external interference. So this could even be someone's friends, but strong emphasis on someone's mother, okay, or a child's mother. I'm picking up on the energy also of someone being very petty when it comes to the custody of the kids. Somebody's using their damn kids as a scapegoat, okay? And I feel like this scapegoat is them not taking accountability for their actions and the lack thereof of financial fucking responsibility as well as being present there with the children. Somebody be in the damn streets and you threw their ass back to the streets, Libra, and they have a fucking problem with you doing so because you said what you said, all right? I'm also picking up on the energy of a spy. Some of y'all are, some of y'all have an, another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person could be spying on you. Someone could also be trying to incriminate you. I'm also picking up on, um, so, yeah, some of y'all also have somebody playing on your damn phone. This could definitely be, if someone has a um, a child's mother, or if you're dealing with somebody who has a child's mother that's an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody in a bag, Libra, because you got chose and they did not. Someone moved on from this person. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the sign of cancer, Virgo. Some of you guys could also be finding out that you're pregnant. Congratulations, Mocha. Love the kids, honey. I love them babies. Y'all can send them right on my way. I'm going to feed them some fried chicken and lollipops, okay? And you're going to turn your motherfucking head and act like it's okay because all the kids love me and I love the kids, period. All right? Um, yeah, some of y'all could have been dealing with an Aries, Scorpio, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo. Someone that could have also been trying to manipulate or be manipulative using children um, by manipulating the other person for money. So that they don't have enough money to invest in you, okay? I'm also seeing someone trying to use magic to slow down someone's progress in their business. That shit is not, that shit is not prospering, okay? Someone's looking at you, Libra, like you, like, bitch, what are you made of? <laughs> bitch, I've put your ass in jars. I've put your ass in fucking freezers. I've put your ass in many things. And here you are still motherfucking pumping, bitch. How, Sway? How? Okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with the Gemini. Some of you guys could be breaking up with the Gemini. There could be separation, talks of separation. If you're dealing with another air sign, specifically Gemini, okay? I definitely feel like some of y'all are dealing with a very crafty Aquarius. I'm picking up on a strong energy of binding, like binding, but I feel like this binding has to do with children. I'm also picking up on the energy as well. For those of you who are dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I feel like someone's procrastinating an ending here due to financial stability. Someone wants to be comfortable, but they don't want to put in all of the work that's, that's, that's required to make a relationship suitable for the both of you. I feel like somebody wants all the motherfucking luxuries, but they're a bullshitter. And Libra, you just can't bullshit a bullshitter, okay? For some of you all also, yeah, hell yeah. For those of you who are dealing with the justice system, I definitely feel like for some of you, you could have been, there could have been, because I am picking up on the energy of delay, delay, like someone could also be delaying a court case, especially if this is involving a divorce, someone that the other party doesn't want to be divorced, Libra. For some of you all, someone doesn't want to miss, someone doesn't want to lose out on their assets. I'm also picking up on a secret of a fire sign. Someone could be hiding an air sign, child, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm also picking up on the energy of an affair, okay, an affair gone wrong. Somebody also, I see a third party situation. This could have even been somebody having a threesome and the mistress ends up getting pregnant here. And I feel like this girl goes from fun girl to complete total psycho bitch on y'all asses. Real quick. 
be very careful with who you share your information with in the month of January, Libra. I feel like some of y'all have someone trying to take your steal your ideas, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy of for those of you who are wanting to get married, I'm also pick I'm hearing eloping, okay? So some of y'all could be talking about eloping. I see two people here in love and neither one of y'all fuck with each other families. For those of you who are looking to um who are looking towards good news with when it comes to a home, a property, a business, or a particular investment. That looks damn good here, okay? I'm also picking up on manifestations, okay? I'm hearing manifestation. I'm also hearing moon magic. Some of you guys could also be practitioners. You could also be trying to... Um, it's something about some y'all could have fire and fire. Some y'all could have air and water and fire in your chart. Yeah. For those of you who could have rec recently reconciled with an air sign or a water sign from your past, I feel like there's an inevitable ending here. I feel like a reconciliation is happening to attain some type of closure or to reach some type of level of closure. I'm also hearing dancing with the narcissist. Some of y'all are dancing with a narcissistic ass fire sign. I feel like somebody's reaching out to you because this person has a hard time seeing you glow up without their asses, okay? But if there's a need for you to set boundaries, as soon as you set boundaries with this motherfucker, this person could be an Aries, Capricorn, Cancer, or another Libra like yourself. Could definitely be heavy fire sign energy as well. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like some of you all are on the brink of a new beginning. And someone wants to come back and disturb that shit. Somebody could. I'm also hearing someone needs a place to stay. Be careful reconciling. Because I feel like you guys are ending a major karmic cycle. And I feel like there's a lot of parasitic ass energy that wants to come in and keep your ass stuck. Libra, but I see you trucking. I also see. Yeah, some of y'all got, yeah, got this big ass coin here. Some of you guys are moving towards something that is very fruitful. I'm also hearing harvest. Harvest, okay. Some of you guys could have been laying down some, uh, laying down a lot of, well, whatever petitions that you put out. I am hearing Cancer Full Moon. So whatever petition that you could have put out in that within that Cancer Full Moon or during that eclipse, I am seeing things harvesting for you in a very positive and massive way. I'm literally hearing industry. Some of you guys are makeup artists. For some of you all, I'm also picking up on the energy of someone making jewelry. This could be holistic jewelry or holistic products. That shit's going to be booming, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy as well. Some of y'all could be finding out that you were cut out of some type of legal, a legal document. Some of y'all going to have to lower the fuck up towards a family member. I'm hearing aunt. Someone could be trying to cut you out of some type of paperwork or some type of legal, legal documents. Some of you guys could have recently experienced a loss of a father figure. Baby, my condolences to you. But if this is like a, a father figure and you had a stepmother or there was like an ex-wife, this bitch here is trying to cut you out of your shmoney, Libra. Look into that in the month of January, okay? I feel that things won't, act, won't actually be finalized until I'm hearing latter February. But somebody's trying to play them motherfucking games. And I feel like someone's trying to play them games by not saying anything. Someone's trying to let a, a deadline go by, okay? There go that big ass cup, yeah. Some of y'all got big ass coins and big ass cups. And I feel like this is on the table, but for some of you all, you're needing to open up and put your damn pride aside and stop stop playing this game with somebody because someone is misinterpreting the game. Well, you may feel as if you're being hard to get and you're going to make this motherfucking work for it. Trust me, Libra. I got Libra rising. I get it. Bitch, I ain't easy. You're going to go through the good, the bad, and the ugly with me, goddamn it, because I need to see if you sturdy, sturdy. If you're here for the right reasons. I get it, Libra. But for some of you all, this person, this is triggering for this individual. And somebody, some of y'all, somebody's misinterpreting your actions. Bitch, do you like me? Bitch, do you like me? Or are we, we playing single games? What the fuck we doing? Okay? For some of you all, this is simply saying that someone secretly wants to be fucking single. Some of y'all are dealing with someone who has trust issues, especially around their finances. Okay? I'm also picking up on the energy of a Libra that's saving their damn money to hit the damn deck. Real quietly, real smooth. Motherfucker won't know you gone until you got your house keys, okay? But I feel like this, I feel this energy of Libra. You said what the fuck you said, and that's what the fuck it's going to be in the month of January, okay? Let's leave with somebody else very stressed out about it.
leaving somebody else very stressed, very worried. But listen, I said what I said. For some of you all, you're finding out the truth regarding possibly a Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, or another air sign. All right. But I feel like for someone, so yeah, some of y'all is pu pulling a plug on a disrespectful motherfucker. I'm also hearing physical abuse, psychological abuse. This is occurring for some type of deep soul or some type of deep trauma wound. Some type, okay, some type of deep, deep wounded trauma that stems from your childhood. And I'm also hearing it's a learned behavior, Libra. It doesn't mean that you have to accept it, but to understand it and to acknowledge it is the first step of recovering from it. I feel like for some of you all, you're no longer in denial about a motherfucker's ain't shitness. You told, they showed you who they were and you totally fucking believed them. And now Libra got a, now Libra is creating a motherfucking plan to get loose, to, to hit the motherfucking road, Jack, and don't you come back no fucking more. You guys are ending cycles. And it's raining blessings into your life. Some of y'all is letting go of motherfucking Chauncey and saying, Hey, Zaddy. Okay? Chauncey got the fucking go. You let you open the door for Zaddy. Not fucking Chauncey. <laughs> Chauncey, you sneak out the fucking back, bitch. Alright? So let's get it. It's so, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. So listen to Journey message for Libra you guys got worry I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome if you want change you must first become the change in which you wish to seek okay you want more for Libra growth I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness a lot of you all are needing to dig deeper as far as it as far as it pertains to um Okay, I'm hearing legalities, okay? So some of y'all need to dig deeper as far as it pertains to a particular um, legal matter as well as... I'm hearing deeds, documents, deeds, court documents, okay? I'm also hearing birth and death certificate. Some of y'all going to have to dig deep and do some research. I'm also hearing some of you all may have to pay an attorney. Uh, for some of you all, this has to do with um, you actually expanding in your consciousness and your awareness... And I'm also hearing judgment from the outside. Spirit is saying, worry not what the fuck these people got to say. Because they could have read the same damn book and did the same damn work that you did. They chose not to. So it's time to shine on these bitches. And I mean that in the most humblest way ever. Okay? One more for Libra. Whoa, one more soul journey. Listen, message for Libra. You guys got judgment. What the fuck I said? It's time to shine on these bitches. Worry about a hoe for what? For some of you all, this has to do with your religious views and the way that you were brought up. Spirit is calling you to break barriers. To stick, to stick firm to your vision. To trust your intuition. To answer your calling. For some of you all, your spiritual teachers. You guys got judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Again, it's... Acknowledging the behavior. It doesn't mean that you have to accept it or allow it, Libra. But acknowledge it. Understand it. Get to the bottom of things. Understand that it's a learned behavior. For some of y'all, this is dealing, this is pertaining to narcissistic abuse where you didn't even know that you was being abused. Some of y'all are doing your research on behavior on on um I just had a whole fucking brain for it. Some of you guys are doing your research as it pertains to um, behavioral patterns with people. Sociopathic behavioral behavior. Psychopathic behavior. Narcissistic behavior. And understanding the difference, okay? Alright, so Libras, honey. Honey. I pray that this message resonates with you all. I love you all so very much. Y'all get in the fucking comments and tell me who the fuck these motherfuckers is. Who y'all fucking with, Libra? Listen. I got the bat. Now, you don't, don't tell nobody. Because we can go fuck some shit up. Mars is in Aries and I'm feeling real spicy-like. Okay? 
So you guys, y'all let me know what time it is. Y'all let me know how this resonates. But I send you all love, peace, and many blessings, you guys. And I will see you back here for the month of February 2021. Maybe even before then. But, you know, listen, y'all know how I give it up. I do what I want. All right. So I love y'all a long time, my baby. And I'll see you guys for another one soon. Bye-bye.